So did you start streaming on Twitch and you're not sure why your previous streams aren't saving on your channel? I got some good news. There's a setting for you. And then there's another way that you can uh, get your videos to save on your channel forever. Because if you're not a partner, you only get 14 days. And even if you are a partner, you only get 90 days. Some other good news, whenever you do this, you can add a thumbnail to your video, kind of similar to YouTube. And I got some great news. I just hit affiliate on Twitch. I made some of my own emotes. I turned myself into an emote. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Uh, you can head on over there and check out my stream at twitch.tv slash docvalentino. There will be a link in the description below, along with some of my other socials. I just got Twitter in 2020. Uh, yeah, I just got... I, I have no words. I'm disappointed in myself as well. Maybe because I'm old, I guess. Anyway, we can head over to the computer. I'll show you how you can enable your previous streams to save on your channel, and then how you can permanently save them on your channel so that if you don't stream for a while, your channel doesn't just go completely dead. But before we go there, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video. Okay, now we can go there. Okay guys, over at the computer, once you go to Twitch, uh, this is just the main Twitch homepage. Go ahead and click on your profile in the upper right hand corner. And then you're gonna go to Creator Dashboard. Okay, so from your dashboard, the first thing that you need to do is go to Preferences and then go to Channel. From there, you'll see that you can change this switch right here. And you can see that says automatically save broadcasts for up to 14 days. And then in parentheses, it says 60 days for partner, turbo, and prime users. So I think I said 90 days. Uh, and I didn't actually realize that prime users get the 60 days too. So if you didn't know, Amazon owns Twitch and you can link your account for Twitch to prime and you have prime gaming or whatever they call it for Twitch but you do have a limited time period and you see this 14 days right here. I mean, that's only two weeks that goes by quick, uh, but that does buy you some time to do this next portion, which can get your videos to save on your channel permanently. So in order to do that, you're gonna need to go to content here. This is gonna be once you create a stream and after you have this store pass broadcasts uh, enabled, then you can go over here and you can go to video producer. And this is gonna come up with all of your videos, all of your previous streams and the highlights that you created. So you're gonna to wanna to create a highlight if you want that to permanently save on your channel. So what you're gonna to have to do, you can see here, the ones that say highlight actually aren't highlights, which is where those are the ones that you can create a highlight on. Uh, so you can go ahead and click there. And then you see here, it comes, it brings up kind of like an editor. Uh, you can go to here and you know, you can change the title of it. Uh, this down here is how you actually edit it. You can slide this. Uh, for some reason, it kind of clips just the middle of your video. Uh, kind of cuts off the first, you know, 20, 30 minutes and the last 20 or 30 minutes for some reason. But you can go ahead and play this through uh, and you can click at different points in the video that you want to see. Uh, let's say we wanted to make a clip of this right here. Uh, you basically just use the scissors here. You can hit the play button. You can let it play for a little bit, or you can jump ahead if you know that you have uh, a certain time period that you want to capture in that, or just a small little clip of something. Uh, it takes a little bit of time if you have an, a stream that's a couple hours long uh, to go through this. If you wanted to do like a highlight of your entire stream, you know, all your kills, let's say that you get throughout that stream, and you wanted to put that in a highlight, it would take a little bit of time to kind of sift through this, but you could. Cut that again, you know, say you didn't want this part, you can click up here, go ahead and cut it. So you wanna find another little section here, cut it. You know, I'm just randomly doing this on my video to show you, uh, but you're gonna to wanna to go through and find different clips of your video. So, so then you can see the part that's yellow. Uh, you can go ahead and just hit the garbage can here and that'll get rid of that section. So go here, here, delete these, uh, and then we'll delete that. And let's say this is what I want for the highlight that I'm going to create. You can go here and you can preview all segments. What that's gonna do is that's gonna play through all three of these concurrently, right? So then once you're done with that, you can hit publish highlights. It's gonna process, it's gonna take some time. In addition to the title that you could have changed on the previous page, you can add another description here that gives it a little bit more context. 
and then you can add a thumbnail here. Like I said, I did a previous video on that. If you guys wanna go check that out on how to create your thumbnails it's using PowerPoint and 3D Paint, not some fancy other software that you gotta spend a bunch of money on. And that's literally about it. Whenever you're done with that, you just hit save changes down here. It even gives you a little tip here. Engage your viewers while you're offline by customizing your channel page with highlights. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this one. I'm not actually gonna create this highlight. Uh, I have highlights on my page and I'll go ahead and show those to you guys. So if I were to go here, uh, and I go to my channel. Uh, you can click on videos and then you can see some of the highlights that I have. Uh, these last couple, it's actually posting this one for some reason, which that's weird. I'm pretty sure that'll go away. If not, I can delete it. Uh, I didn't make a thumbnail for this one, but you can see some of these other ones I actually made thumbnails for to spice up my channel a little bit and make it stand out from some other channels. Nothing to it. And that's it guys that's all you needed to do now you can save your streams forever and yeah oh i forgot to mention you can download your videos as well and then you could take them into a video editor edit them differently and then once you do hit affiliate you can actually upload videos to your twitch channel hope you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notifications button as well so you know when i post a new video and if you see any links in the description below for amazon that helps this channel out and it makes sure that not all the money goes to jeff bezos I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. I forgot one more thing. What did I forget? What was important enough for me to start this video again to say something? <laughs> ah, I remember. Finally. I just want you guys to know, I think I've done a great job improving the quality of these videos as far as the audio and the visuals go. I am still using an iPhone as this camera right here. I'm recording it right into OBS using IV cam. I did a video on that previously as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pop a picture up of what my setup looks like to create these videos and really mostly for my stream as well of what my surroundings look like right here in order to create these videos it doesn't have to be fancy if you guys are looking to start a channel or you're looking to get into streaming you can do it i believe in you but it can't happen unless you give it a shot you don't have to be rich you don't have to be expensive i don't have a stream deck i don't have a go xlr or any kind of audio mixer similar to it i make it work with what i have i do have a pc that i connect my console to through a cheap capture card it's not even an elgato this is a cheap microphone that i'm talking into right now it's 40 bucks on amazon so if you're thinking about streaming or you're thinking about starting a youtube channel just do it i got your back look at this dude floating on my stream <laughs> what <laughs>